What is up guys, back for another video. In this video, uh, we're at the other location. We're at where there isn't gonna be as much work because there's simply not as much plants, but we still do have a few plants. Over there, we have we have about 36 daylilies here. Over there is pretty iced, but here you can see our daylilies. These will be recording probably sometime in April. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. But regardless, uh, we will be doing these in April. This one here is the biggest. This is what it grows in a year. That sunset's real nice tonight, so yeah, really cool. Although our view isn't as good as it used to be, we used to have that tree there, which is still there. Four other pines in the back and a large uh, one there, but actually five trees were removed this summer, which really sucks. Uh, but that one still stands, so it still looks pretty cool. But you need one big spruce. I'd hate to see that one go. Uh, that one will eventually take it over. But anyway, I'll put on our tree today. So I'll look at the buds on this tree. And I'm still getting over this, uh, whatever's going on. So my voice still sounds a little weird, but it's way better. Look at all the buds, if I can get it to focus. Look at, I mean, you can just see the bumps. Look at all the buds on this tree. This one's going to grow real nice come spring. Like, wow, if I can get it to focus. I mean, it's a small thing to focus on. It's either try to focus on that or the fence. Huh, I can't seem to, oh, there you go. See some of the buds on the street. Looks really, really good. So I can't wait to see this one, bud. Uh, this was planted this year. So these stakes can come out May uh, 25th. We'll probably wait till June, June 1st, but these stakes can then come out as this tree is rooted in. Now there's a couple top roots here, but that's not gonna hurt anything I looked up. What is that? It's a limb from the old tree or something. But that shouldn't hurt anything, those limbs right there. There's a couple leaves, which I do wanna get up come spring, but this tree ain't yet leaving too much. But there is a couple, this, these top stems here, this is all new growth from last year. And it is a little stressed, so it might grow a little better this year, I hope. Although it grew amazing last year, lots of new growth. Uh, but yeah, I am excited to watch this tree grow. So yeah, this will be a really fun one to watch. Brand newly planted in place of an old dead tree. So once we get that done, we'll get all these daylilies dealt with. We do have a cedar here, or not a cedar, a juniper here. But that one will be pruned in August. Uh, a daylily right here. These are really flat. That one's real flat because it's got ice over it all year. So these, they do get a winter. But they grow well in the summer regardless. And the ones at the office, there's a little dog. The ones in the at the other building, or the other place we're at, uh, those always get stepped on by dogs. Those are a different type of daylily, but they get stepped on by dogs, scratched upon, and they still grow back fine come spring. One thing, if you have dogs, while well, daylilies are growing, the blooms are not poisonous to them. They are poisonous to cats. But uh, dogs, if you got dogs, as the daylilies are, unless your dog likes to chew them, that's a different story. You're going to be screwed. You have to cage them. Not the dog, the, the daylily. But if, like our dogs, they just run over them. They don't, they don't care to bug the daylilies but they will run over them. So usually they gotta be watched carefully when out for the first two weeks of spring and the growing season till those plants get at least, you know, that's high from the ground. So then they start to jump over them. So that's kind of how that goes. But here we have some really nice daylilies here, which I'm really excited to watch grow in the summer. Look at these. They don't look good right now, but they're really nice plants. They've never been divided though either. But they're still so nice. Uh, we we should do a count. Let's do a count on these daylilies that we got in this area. We got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, one, two. Or, I'm not, that's not going to help me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Right there. Uh, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 daylilies. So we do have quite a bit of daylilies, which is really nice. Actually, these here are probably, yeah, they're ready for pulling. They've actually got a little growth. See that green growth? So those will be kind of cool. Right over here. This one should be ready for pulling. Almost. It's a little wet. Generally, you want to wait till these are dry. That way you don't pull out any of the canes or anything or the bulbs or whatever they're called that is under these plants. So here is where we made a mistake. Here we did do that when it was too wet. And left a patch of dirt. But these are pretty, and it doesn't grow back anymore. But these are pretty forgiving. So what these will usually do is they will grow uh, around it. And come spring, come June, uh, you might notice a little bit of a hole in the middle. But uh, come July and stuff, it's so filled in you don't see. These are our smallest three day lilies. This one being the smallest in the yard, I think. But they do put on a show with a lot of blooms for what they are. They're actually kind of good to be small in this back area. The ones in that front plant are by three are the worst. But here, these ones get pretty smashed by snow. Specifically, this one. This one. We've had 63 degree days, full sun. This pile was up to the top post here. Uh, I'll give you a perspective on that. And it has taken it considerably down, but it still has not melted. So... This poor thing's gonna be frozen over because it's gonna start to cool down. But you can just see how sogged it is. So that one enjoys the spring. It grows really good. And these here do get eh, moderately buried. They just don't get enough sun. So the ones in the front are good. The side here, the side planter, they get pretty iced over as you can see. So they're in for a treat. But this one here gets the most buried every year along with this one. But they both handle it well. You can see how all the stalks on these are knocked to the ground it's because they were buried so it is getting pretty dark uh so we're gonna call it a night but that's a daylily talk it's one of my favorite things about this yard oh the daylilies are amazing so yeah we'll see you guys in the next one